Generic greetings and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Today's beverage is a nice fine cup of tea. Very nice indeed. So yes, welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator where in this building here we will be getting in cars, repairing them and hopefully making money. At least that's the meat and potatoes of the game. This is something that I've only played for about an hour so still first impressions only but from what I've played I am quite enjoying it. Now I have played some of these other mechanic simulator games before. I think the last Car Mechanic Simulator I played was probably in uh, probably the 2014 version as far as I'm aware but I have played a lot of the other mechanic -y games before, most notably the plane and train mechanic simulators. Those are two different games, by the way, it's uh, <laughs> not all in one. But uh, this is the most modern one that I've played, and well, let's have a quick look. So, this is the shop. I am currently level one. I've done, I think, three, maybe four jobs, including the tutorial, so still very early on in the game. And we are in a barren wasteland by the look of it. Uh, it could also be the desert from cyberpunk but uh, yeah this is where we are <laughs> like it looks to be a old gas station and such and we have this building here so let's just go inside and see that um yeah we should probably have a clean up we've got an old school bus in here maybe we can turn it into a camper van or whatever i think you do upgrade your workshop as you go on so you've got things like that in the way we've got like this it says under construction but i do like the detail in here there's a lot of a lot of detail to be uh to be found i mean mainly rubbish you understand but even these things like the ratings and stickers on the tires i think are, are quite nice by the way there is a radio in the game but i've turned that off for well normally it'll get copyright claimed but anyway so let's just go ahead and do a couple of jobs shall we that's what the game is about so we have two vehicles here we have an emden uh, jaeger tga 1983 model here it says it's got brake problems there and we've also got a uh, mayan m3 awd all-wheel drive i'm guessing it looks like an audi um it says other tasks let's you know this is this is probably the one we're going to go for so we'll accept the job and have a quick look at that and oh that's uh seems to be a fairly nice maintained car there uh if we go to car status we can see that it is current color what? Current colour is like this... Well, it says gold, but I'm going to say beige. Um, <laughs> and the factory colour is black, but that that's blue. That's very disconcerting. You can see like it's uh, all-wheel drive. You can see the mileage on it. It's uh, just under 30 kilometres, so... You know, nothing much at all. They've got the weight and the tyre size. Oh, that's factory tyre size. I'm guessing you can change it up. There's a lot of things that you can do in the game that I've not even touched. Like, I think you can do some, like, decor, uh, de decal stuff and change, like, interiors and bits like that. But, yeah, it's not... Uh, something I've really uh, dealt with. We need to refill the coolant fluid and we'll f we refill the windshield washer fluid. So that's a fairly simple task. So we're going to get this into the garage here. We'll move it to the car lift. You can see there's other options that are greyed out because, well, we don't have them because there's currently a school bus in there. It says White Coast uh, Public Schools on the side. That's where that thing has come from. Anyway. We need to refill, what was it, the cooler and the windshield washer. Let me just double check. Oh, sorry, you have to, it's it's contextual, so you have to, like, look at the car and check it. So, refill coolant and the windshield washer. So, we've got the coolant here. I'm going to use our additional tool and drainage, and we will drain the fluid from here. So, we get our syringe and then drain what's left of the fluid. We'll do a similar thing over here, because why would we not? Might as well use the tool while it's there. There's almost nothing left in anywhere. And then we'll drop that tool by pressing escape. And then let's just fill this up. So we can see we'll pour in the fluid with a really low res label for some strange reason. And you can tell it's full because the can will drop like that. And then you uh, just put it down. You can see there's a, there is a max level on there. So that is the max level. I'm just looking there. It actually says Zan. But uh, there you are. So that's the Zan level. Uh <laughs> That's now done, and we'll do the same thing for this here, and just remove that. And that is a really, really low res <laughs> label. Very strange. Anyway, so we'll get this up to what we think is the acceptable level, which will be about there. Yep, and then that should be job done. Is that literally the job? That is, yeah, a very easy job, but we are going to get some credits. And also, oh, I'm on 149 experience out of 50, so that's not ideal. Oh, there's a mini! Uh, so this is the Griffin Tyro, and it says brake system needs fixing. Yeah, and this one is poor brake performance. You know what? We'll just go with this one here. This is the 2015 model. So we'll have a quick look at this one, and yep, that is a, a modern Mini Cooper, I would assume. Uh, you can open that up as well. They're nice. Uh, it says GB on there with the European stars on. To be fair, it's registered in 2015, so I guess... 
It is accurate. Uh, let's go for moving the car and bring it into the car lift. And we will use our magic x-ray eyes to look at it. And I can see that the front... In fact, no, everything is red at the back there as well. Interesting. Okay. So normal mode, car status. It just says brake, caliper, disc, vented, vented, and pads. So we need to change the pads... And we need to change calipers and all sorts. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to... I'm going to do the front first. So we'll press the lift and we'll lift it up to the first level there. I should point out, graphics-wise, this is running, I think, on... Well, I can probably show you. Uh, save uh, settings. Yeah, we're on to... Uh, pretty much it says custom, but I think it's run high. And I've turned off motion blur because... Well, that thing can just disappear. I don't know. Motion blur. Very few games I have it on. I just think it's... Well, it makes things more blurry, which is not a desirable trait. Okay, so that's now removed. We can see the brake pads are 20%. And that disc is absolutely knackered as well. The caliper we will remove. Obviously, we're just taking these nuts out and we're gonna get the brake pads but what I like is that you can add it to the shopping list by just pressing X and add it to the shopping list first so it means when we go back we can sort that out uh, that's all sorted there let me just do the same thing on the front so we'll remove that uh, one two we've got a dug a dug a gun to remove this and that comes off and we can see that the well we'll remove the we'll remove this but I think the pads are fine on this. Yeah, the pads seem fine. Focus on part. Is there a way you can inspect it? No. Nah. Well, you can, but it's it's fine, that pad. And then we'll take off the vented disc. And we'll get that one sorted. So over to the computer. I'll uh, show my shop on this. We've got brake pads, brake discs, and vented. Uh, so our pads, how many do we need? Actually, you know what? Let's just remove them all. This is probably where I get confused and end up buying different things. Oh, there's a caliper by the look of it. And there we are. And, yep, we definitely need one of those, so we'll get that removed. That. Oh, that's definitely another brake pad. So, I've already got it to the shop list, but I should have probably added to the shop list all of the ones that I want. So far, none of these nuts are stuck, and you do get that. You have to put some penetrating fluid on it, just to loosen that up. And looks like that caliper is not a problem at all. Balls seem to be fine. Brick discs, also knackered. Right, okay, so go to inventory, I will have a look. So, I'll tell you what, where's our shopping list? We can, can we check our shopping list? We can... On the computer so we'll use that open the shopping list get rid of the lot because i think that was on there from a previous job so we need to add to uh we want one of those 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 i think that is i think that's about right i'm just looking for anything under about 30 percent and the rest seems fine the job says one two three four five six so i should have six things on my list if i've done it correctly uh two three four five six yes so break discs we need one of so we'll buy that part we will go for uh, the caliper we'll buy that part we will say the vented discs which we'll have two of you can see we've also got other options here so if when you're getting tires for example it's not just a round one it's <laughs> different uh like sizes and stuff i won't pretend to understand what it all means but it's uh, nice to have that option anyway there we go that should be everything pretty much bought out so back to install here and we'll put the vented discs back on and it asks us to select uh, what we want but obviously they're all about the same we'll put, put the new ones on the front here and then the caliper put the brand new one and you also get the cylinder as well so you don't have to you don't have to put every little bit on it does automatically just say what what needs to go where um so that's what we did but it's nice to see that those considerations have been made i guess if you only need one part there's no point in buying the full thing so there you are anyway over to here and then once again to installation mode put the vented brakes uh so the vented uh, brake discs on there and then the pads then the caliper which you need to combine it with the cylinder which we've done so two bolts in the back you can obviously spin them a thing the camera around if you really need to but well we don't 
And there we go. So one, two, three, four. You're going in a stand motion because apparently that's the better way to do it. If you go around, you can often kink it or something. Uh, I'm sure people who know these things better than me will correct me if that's absolute nonsense, but there you are. And um, we'll just put these pads on. I mean, I can select a really garbage pad if I really wanted to. Um, I, I really don't want to. I have no desire to uh, mismanage the job and cause potentially a fatal accident. So, yeah, let's, let's just do our job and do it well. And that should be... Was almost done. Just one more to go. You see, I can stop the uh, installation. I do have to hold that when I'm uh, when I'm putting that on, like that. So I can just stop and move on to the other one if I really, really wanted to. I don't know why you would, but the options there. Standard tire. There you are. I found that with a lot of these games, it really does live or die with you fighting the the order of which you can remove stuff. Like having to change. I think it was the train mechanic simulator. There was like a fuel pump, but it was very... I had to take half the engine apart, and it was an absolute nightmare because <laughs> trying to remember the reordering uh, was yeah it was problematic. Anyway, car status seems to be everything a -OK, so we'll finish that order. And apparently, we are at level 2, but I don't think I have any, any points. Do I have any points? Um, what's this? This is tools we can get. So we've got like paint shop, garage expansion. Wow, there's loads of stuff. A welder. I send your service to include full body repairs. Oh, wow. A charger. Uh, have we got, got all those? Yeah, I think. Actually, I actually don't know if we have. No, we don't. So we get a battery charger. So I'm going to buy a battery charger. Enter. We now have a battery charger. Cool. Uh, what about any of these? It says cost one. We've got one skill point. So it's things like move faster. Ability to fix parts from group 1, increase the chance of instant repair by 2, increase unscrewing uh, speed by 10%, increase the mounting slash unmounting speed by 10%, discount on parts you buy, and cuts time to examine a part. I'm going to get a uh, discount. Why not? There we go. Right, so there is our skills. We have skills. Uh, I'm going to now check the phone and see what orders we have. We've got, this one says story order. Name's John. I was referred to here by my neighbour. He's a car dealer. Hmm. Okay. Change the oil and other tasks. Whereas this one is suspension feels loose. Oh, let's have a look at that one because we might need to use the the um, suspension puller type thing. So let's just get it into the garage. I don't know why it starts outside. Um, I guess you could get in and drive it because I'm pretty sure there's I'm sure there's like a race track and such in the game. If we go over to uh, yeah, if you go over here, you've got like a test track, a race track, a car salon, and like workshops and other places. I think you may be able. Can you, can you go and find a car and do it up yourself? Uh, possibly. I don't know. Oh, there's our battery charger. Nice, nice to see that. And workplace first aid, which doesn't help because it's so blurry. So I'm gonna go with read me first. Uh, done. Danger. Don't pile boxes on top of corpses. Uh, response. Uh. Yeah, don't work them up. <laughs> what else have we got going on here? Yeah. Okay. Getting help. Call for help. Hmm. Anyway, back to actually the job. So, car status. We can see we have inner tie rod and sway bar rear end link. I'm going to pretend to know what those are. And it'll be uh, rear suspension. Yeah, there and over there. All right, okay. So there's two bits we have to do. So we will raise this up. Um, what's that? 400 volt, 50 hertz, three phase. Fair enough. Get this tire off. There we are. That's a good job jobbed. And... What do we need to remove? That. That big rusty part. So, tie rod. And... Oh, you know what? Add the shopping cart. And there we go. There's that done. That's one thing, actually. I'm gonna... Get rid of those. And it was over here, I believe, wasn't it? I don't, I don't like that. See, it looks like a nice car. 
you've got little bits of rust like that and like the paint's bubbling in places. A category. It's nice to guess like what it's supposed to be. <laughs> for this one I really don't know. Comment in the comments for what you think this is supposed to represent that they can't make for legal purposes. And it's that, is it? Rear swear bar end. Is that it? And I think that's it. I didn't add shopping cart. It's okay though. Oh, and the brick calipers. Huh. That's curious. It says we don't have to do it. Hmm. Can I also repair? That's one thing. Can you used to be able to repair them. Sell? No. No. Okay. Yeah, see, we could put the brake pads back on, but, I mean, that would be totally irresponsible of us, wouldn't it? Are we doing it anywhere? <laughs> Possibly. I'm going to see what it says. So, shopping list. One of those. Buy. Buy. Alright. Uh, install. That. Brand new. And put the tie back on. Oh, of course, all those parts I've just been looking at there that were knackered. That's from the old car. Hmm. Why has it only just occurred to me? Should probably sell them. Uh, install. Yeah, maybe automatically selling stuff would be desirable. And I'm hoping on my next job we can uh, actually use the tyre changer. Because that was quite good. And you have to balance them as well. Is that it? Job done. Easy. Um, inventory. Sell parts. V. Sell all parts. They're all gone. Right. Good. Another job done. Suspension feels loose. And this is a uh, change oil. Yeah, and other tasks. So, my name is uh, Joanna, preferred to be by my neighbour. He's a car dealer. I hear that your repair shop has been up and running since quite recently, but you look like a promising mechanic. It's almost my annual service. My buddy doesn't seem to have any problems, but I'll leave that you to decide. Please change the oil filters and fill the missing fluids. Haven't had time for that recently. John mentioned that there was a tapping in the camshaft. I don't know what he meant. Perhaps they'll make more sense to you. Please take care of my car. Have a good day. Change oil and other tasks. We are going to pick that one up and yep, that's another mini, but it is also, well, the paint is getting a bit dull and I mean... That's some, that's some bright colours. <laughs> I don't necessarily dislike it, actually, but yeah. Anyway, we need to have a quick look at the task list. So, oh my good grief. Um, <laughs> right, this is going to be, this is going to be difficult. Um, camshaft, idle rollers, part, we haven't even discovered some parts. Right, you know what? Let's just let's let's oh change coolant, change power steering fluid. Let's just change all the fluids first. I assume that you'd want to do the mechanic y stuff first. But let's just change the fluids. So I'm lifting it up, I'm gonna lift it up again and we'll change the we'll change the oil first, although we may end up having to work on this. Ah, I'm guessing Guessing we're gonna have to change the oil filter. Oil filter, yeah, okay. So what we'll do is we'll probably get rid of the oil filter because why not? Actually, no. Add it to the shopping list first. We'll get rid of that. All right. We'll go over to where's my oil filler, uh, oil drainer, and move it to the car, and then we will use it. And there you go. There's the. If that's the only oil that was in here, this thing, <laughs> I can't imagine would uh, be very good. Uh, so we need to get rid of that and get rid of that. And we do need an oil filter, but let's open the hood. And I think it was all the coolants, wasn't it? Um, 
So it's other tasks. It's washer fluid, steering fluid, coolant fluid, and brake fluid. It's everything. It's absolutely everything. Right, so additional tools. What have we got? OBD scanner? Yeah. Anyway. Let's get rid of this. There you are. The OBD... Is it OBD2? Anyway, OBD scanner. That'd be interesting. What did I... Uh, <laughs> I was watching someone on YouTube and they went, Ah, I see what the problem is. And they looked at the thing and it said, This is a wallet over thickness fault or something. <laughs> I think it was the joke. Um, <laughs> which did make me chuckle. Uh, why? Why? Hang on. Why you no remove? There we go. And there's all of that pretty much sorted. So let's just get this done. And fill it in. Power steering hydraulic fluid. There we go. That'll do us. And same thing for these. If there's a max on there, I can't really see it. do everything that'll do <laughs> as long as it goes to the required level we're okay and this is just the easy stuff this is just routine maintenance I'm not looking forward to taking half the engine apart if I have to change it so you can't even see the levels there at least if we went to the oil can drops like that, and then we know it's done. Yeah, if we have to change like a water pump, then <laughs> down there somewhere, who knows? Right, so we'll double check. We have completed all of that. We just need to change the oil on the um, for the engine. Ah, oh, so you have to put the oil filter in. Well, of course, because it would just flow at the bottom. Tell you know what, then we'll go and get an oil filter. Oil filter by part. At least you don't have to wait for parts to come around and anything like that. So insert, oil filter, there we go, that screws on there, uh, we'll go down, while we're here, inventory, sell parts, yeah. Oh, that's actually okay, you could, could repurpose that, I wouldn't, <laughs> but there you are. Um, let's go, get this oil filled up. The fluid details are quite nice. And there we go. So that should be that sorted. I think it was spark plugs as well. So, oil filter's done. Spark plugs. Belt tensioner, brake pads, cam gear, idle roller, rubber bushings somewhere. We'll go with the easy ones first, as I said. So, we'll go for the spark plugs. And that spark plug, what condition? 31%. I think there's only two that need to be changed. Unknown. So do we have to take them all out? Hmm. Spot the plugs. That one's not good at all. That one looks that one visual inspection seems fine for those. So, by the look of it, just the two, but the ignition coil doesn't look great either. I mean, realistically, if we would just change all of them, wouldn't we? Is there a, is ignition coil part of this one? It is. Just the one. And two spark plugs. Can we add that to our, to the stars there? Why would you, what's that do? Hmm. So, two spark plugs. Um, and an ignition coil. Let's just get those bought. We'll get that changed. So, spark plugs. Oh, can't get it here. So, we can't get it from this shop. We have to go to body tyre, interior, gearbox. What would it be? Electronics? Yeah. Two of those. So, you've got different stars. I don't think there really needs to be, does there really? 
but it is what it is. Feels horrible putting in all, all plugs. I don't know what the general consensus is. If they're okay, just put them back on, or while you're doing it, just change them while you're there. It being a inexpensive part. But there you go. Right. So that now should be done. Yep, that's all right. Brake pads, we know where those are. So we'll check those um, after. I sell these parts, because quite frankly, I don't want them hanging around in my inventory. So, brake pads. Uh, we've got... Oh, there's some rubber bushings there and there. And brake pads. Looks like it is the... It's on the rear. So, we will do that. So, back to normal mode. Let's get rid of this tyre. Seems a bit of a shame to not have the music on, but as I said, a uh, copyright will almost certainly be claimed on it. Even though it'll be freely licensed, but, you know, YouTube. And you can import your own music as well, I should point out. Uh, are we able to take that rubber bushing out? Apparently we can. There you go. So, we'll just... Well, we'll just do that while we're on. And we have to do some inspections as well for some other parts. Which we might find as we progress on anyway. But this is also serving as a bit of a tutorial for more advanced fault finding and such. And yeah, there's an absolutely hammered that bushing. Alright, so we will get... One, two, three, four. Just went down the list there. And I think we can get these from the standard store. Spark plugs are done. Ignition coils are done. Bushings, two of. And brake pads, two of. Get rid of those preemptively. And see, I could be installing bits now. That I may end up having to remove anywhere to get to something else. I'm very aware of this. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I claim to quite enjoy these things. They're quite relaxing, but I never claim to be good at them. There we go. <laughs> Don't <that'll> do. <laughs> I've heard stories of that. People just putting them on finger tight and then... Going, yeah, that, you know, I'll, I'll come back with the with the air gun and then the phone rings or something. And sure enough, just forget. And then people are driving down. What's that noise? And the wheels. <laughs> rocking all over. And I bet you it happens more often than people realise. Only human. Shouldn't happen, but I guess the reality is it can and does. So we should have knocked a couple of a couple of jobs out the park here. There we are. Just gonna put that up because I know we've got rubber bushings under here we need to get to. Which were Um where were they? There I think. Or was it them ones? I don't know. Yeah, it's those ones. You can examine parts. Oh, that's how you examine parts. <laughs> so just, and it looks like you don't have to. Examine everything. That's really nice. I appreciate that. So, you don't have to try and get into every little bit. You can just look at one part and then slowly examine it. Hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. Then you can examine the engine as well. We've already examined some of it because we've taken bits of it apart. I know we have to go in here anyway. At least I'm fairly confident we have to go in here to do something. Hmm. I'm questioning, questioning that now. Um, okay. So it was these. I don't know how on earth 
we're able to get in here. But we can. We just move along to that bit. And you can see when I mouse over a part like that, it'll tell you what you have to remove first. So, pretty good. Right. Um, we want uh, the bushings, wasn't it? Is it just... Are, this, are there all these standard bushings? I think so. Rubber bushing. Two of. There we are. Back over here. Uh, to there. Install. Rubber bushings. Yeah, they're just the same. And over to the left. Just managed to get there. And there's those. Before I forget, sell all those, inspect, good. So, we've got parts not discovered and apparently a spark plug. Look at that, I've, I have actually messed up one of the spark plugs. Hmm. Let's have a look then. That's 100%. That's 100%. That's 82. That's 70. So it's just that one. You know, I'm just going to change both. It's it's in green. No, it's in green. I bet I bet we only need the one. Uh oh, you have to go to uh, the electronics. Spark plug. 6 credits. That's all it is. So, let's all put those on. As I mentioned earlier, we'd, uh, <laughs> we will be taking things apart and, what, multiple times here. So, we could put that one in. That one, for example, but no, that's the green one. So, that one that should be acceptable, according to the game. Yeah. Right, so there's certain parts not discovered. Let's inspect. Mm. Air intake. Yeah. A lot of these we don't have to. I think you need to inspect those. Suspension's been checked. It's free suspension we haven't. Let's see if there's anything broken on this. And I'm getting experience, I've just noticed, popping up on the right. So every time we do this, we gain experience, rather than just, say, getting experience for one job after another. Okay. Well. Is there anything else we can inspect? Yeah, technically that. Suspension, engine, battery, ECU, no, and intercooler and cooling. All right. So, what have we got left? Camshaft, idle roll, air ignition coil. I mean, there's the alternator. See, now, I'm just going to start taking, ah, oh, successful from the car, taking bits off. Feels like they should be the other side. Okay, I thought it was on this side, and fair enough, it is. That is the idle roll A, which is at a 77%, so we will get that removed. And we also have, what was it, I think it was belt tensioner, it said before. Um, don't need to get inside the block. 
I wonder if you actually can change pistons and all sorts. We'll have to remove the timing cover. Get rid of the pulley. Get rid of the crankshaft pulley. Timing cover comes off. Looks like I have four bolts. Some quite long bolts as well. And, aha! Uh -huh. Yep, yep, everything's knackered in here. Alright, so another idle roller, that's going to come off. Oh, we need to take off the belt tensioner first. Can't really see anything because uh, the camera <laughs> moved. Idle roller. And cam gear. I hope I haven't messed the timing up. And the camshaft. Oh. Oh, don't. Why can't I remove that? So in order to remove that, what do I need to take off? I'm guessing this side here. Timing cover. Now we're getting within the bowels of it. That seems fine. There's a chain. Cam chain. No. It doesn't tell me. It's that there. Don't say I have to take the whole head off. <laughs> so, I am removing these for the third time. Well, you know what? Let's be positive about it. I am getting a lot of experience <laughs> from doing this. This is where we just have a big pile of parts left over and it's like, oh dear. Ah, there you go. So, I do need to take off these caps. Look at the detail on that. I can't argue with it. That is nice detail. And obviously visual inspection we can quite clearly see that uh, it's it, it's a little bit worse for wear. And what we're going to find under here though... Aha! Good. Right, so that's what it looks like. And, yeah, there's a lot less to inspect on the car now. Right, <laughs> let's have a look. So, we want a camshaft, idle roller, belt, tensioner, cam gear. Um, I think another idle roller, possibly? Idle roller A. Is that what we need? Yeah, part not discovered, which is curious. So, belt tensioner, cam gear, camshaft, idle roller, and ignition coil. Uh, I'm going to pretend to know where that is. Right, let's get this sorted. So, uh, we need one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're going to get that not from the electronic shop. There's no way it's going to be there. So, let's go for camshaft. We'll have one of those. We'll get rid of that. We'll have an idle roller. Just need the one, I think. Uh, we'll have this belt. Uh, belt tensioner. And finally, cam gear. Job done. Right. Uh, let's get it rebuilt, I guess. ABS. Oh, ABS pump and stuff. Yeah, cool. Um, right. Insulation. Camshaft. That one. Good. And the caps as well, which obviously the caps are, the caps are fine. So I don't know how much I needed to take off here. But we'll just put them back. And obviously people who have done this before are a lot more familiar. Will immediately go, ah, I need to do this, this and this. And, you know, be a lot easier for them. Interesting you put the timing chain on before the gear. Huh. I'm very hesitant to actually put this back together because I know we'll be probably later on ripping this apart and if you know and don't cheat let us know at what point you called it out 
We are ticking the jobs off, which I'm happy with. Let me say, putting on these covers when we'll almost certainly have to take it apart. Alright. And further back here. Put the gear back on. Good. And down. Idle roller. Good. And the belt. And then the tensioner. And before I put the cover on. Look at that. Good. Ah, ignition coil. I was thinking, what's that? It's, of course, it's the... Uh, goes on top of the... Um, not the spark plug. But, because we removed it, it says it wasn't fixed. And part not discovered. I don't know what that... Yeah. What that could be. We'll have to... We'll have to check up. And timing cover. Good. There we are. And the pulley. And finally the belt. And the other roller. Is that it? Yeah. It's just this part not discovered. So before anything else, sell all parts. They're garbage. And we can't get... Yeah. What we have to do is move the car to the garage entrance because I want to see inside because you can have a look and examine it I don't know <laughs> it seems really low down doesn't it um no should you get in should we drive it I mean, can we just drive the car? Drive the car. Test track. Never done this. We'll give it a go. It did say there was uh, a noise. Hopefully that noise is us not... Well, hopefully that noise is not going to be us crashing into the side of a... Of a vehicle. Oh, yeah! You know what? I've just fixed this. I really don't want to break it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if the problems represented are represented audibly in this, or even visually, if something goes wrong on a brake test, cool. Well, that seems all right. Don't know what the other pro the other problems are. I wonder if we can just hand it over and say, don't know, don't know. There you go, road test achievement. Never been there. It's interesting to see how far the game has come on since, well, 2014 was the last one I played, so I'm assuming <laughs> the, what's the one before this? Is there an 18, a 19? I don't really know. Ah. Examined parts reported. Brake discs and brake pads. That's a useful thing then. Get it in the workshop. Let's check that. There's one thing I didn't... Oh yeah, it's fairly obvious now, isn't it? <laughs> right. So, I reckon if we go to this... Yeah, there it is. It's the brakes. Good. I know I tried to drive something before and um, it didn't have any oil in it. It actually said, no, you can't do that. And you probably shouldn't. <laughs> That was a fair point well game there. A fair point well made game. So let's get rid of that. Uh, take off the caliper. Uh, it looks like the pads are yep, absolutely hammered. And I'm adding those to the shopping basket as we speak. Uh, we are still only level 2 but hopefully completing this mission, this job, I don't think mission is really the right term. Uh, let me see if I can get back to here. Allow 
each one of those. Alright. And it is brake pads, two of. And brake disc ventilated, two of. That should be it. Oops. Then you see it's very easy to navigate between the different modes. I'm not really fighting with it or anything, which is good. Last thing you want. There's gold tires. Shame we didn't get to use the uh, the tire machine. In fact, you know what? I can probably show you. There's no, no reason why we have to do this, but we can. So, you can come over to these, and you can say separate parts, and you can separate the tire from the wheel. So, if you want to change the, just the tire and keep the uh, the rim, then you're fine with that one. Uh, I'll take that. Obviously, you have to then uh, install that with the tire, put that back on, and then you put it on the wheel balancer. You see the different balancing weights on that. On that one, and then you have to balance it up. So you just have to rotate this round to green. There you go, balanced. <laughs> right. All right. Install. Break discs. Break pads. Caliper with a cylinder. I mean, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for driving around, I probably wouldn't have discovered these problems for quite some time. And is that it? Looks to me like that's it. Two grand. And, oh, another level. Excellent. Oh, you can crouch. Let me sell that. And, oh, we got loot boxes as well. Uh, there's loot boxes in the game, which is very strange. Not like ones we have to buy or whatever. You just get, yeah, little bonuses like that. It's uh, very strange. Totally industry Barn map location. Hmm. Probably should have used that rather than not selling it, but there you are. Anyway, that's been a bit of car mechanic simulator. Not bad at all. We uh, we can level up. What's that one? Parking cheaper. Cuts time for examining the parts. We'll have that. There you go. But yeah, um, first impressions are good. I'm enjoying it. I like the detail in it. I assume it gets very samey towards, you know, the end of when you're changing the oil for the 14th time on a car. But, you know, it's doing the jobs. And I really like the expansion stuff, like being able to build in here and getting new tools in and stuff. There's like a nice progression there, which I do find is, uh, well, personally, I find those things to be quite quite uh, desirable. But there you go. Bit of car mechanic simulator we've done. Hopefully a couple of good jobs and... There you are. It links in the description if you want to check the game out yourself. If you want to see more on the channel, then by all means let me know. I am going to be playing some more, so more than happy to continue on and doing some mechanic videos, but let me know what you think. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this one, and if nothing else, it'll hopefully be a bit of a chill one for you. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.